What's this? Two bits of aluminium, very carefully constructed, one with a pillar and one with little fine radial lines. That fits inside the first piece and this is now the apparatus you need to show the Leidenfrost effect. Johann Leidenfrost invented it, or discovered the effect, about 260 years ago. But this needs to be heated to quite a high temperature to show the effect. So I've put another one here on a heater and I'll show what happens when we put a drop of water on it. The dropper is just a little a straw acting like a pipette. Drop it in and oh, it evaporates very quickly, it boils. It's a little bit over 100 degrees centigrade. But something much more remarkable occurs, as he discovered, when this is heated up to a high, much higher temperature, which I'll now have to demonstrate by turning up the gas. Yes, that's well over 200 degrees centigrade. We can now show the Leidenfrost effect. So when I drop the water on this time, it won't just bubble and disappear. Something quite remarkable happens. It stays in place. Higher temperature, yet the thing doesn't evaporate. Oh, this spins beautifully, isn't it? Let's put another drop in so he's got a companion. What's happening here? Something quite extraordinary. There's an even bigger one now. Let's have a go at making him go around. No, it's going around naturally. It's beautiful. If I really practice, I can make an entire ring of this liquid. So something quite extraordinary is happening here. The much higher temperature is creating a little barrier between the very hot surface underneath and the water droplets. So it's insulated and it doesn't evaporate. But it does evaporate, but very much more slowly. That will go on for some time before it finally disappears. Wow, what a discovery.